Many of you have heard it said, I don't know what the future holds. Yeah. All right. But I know who holds the future. Yeah. 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 That statement is not all the way correct. That's right. That's right. That's right. Revelations 21 is true. Yeah. Around 95 AD on the island called Patmos. The one who holds the future. Reveal to us what the future holds. Jesus. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Pull back the curtains of eternity. Yes, sir. And reveal to a young disciple named John. Our brand new, beautiful, beyond words, never to be destroyed. Which we call heaven. Yeah. All right, all right. Point number one, write this down. He says, we are going to live with God in his perfect place. All right, all right. He said, then I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the yeah. first heaven and the first earth had passed away. Yeah. There was no longer any sea. Mm -hmm. And I saw the holy city. The new Jerusalem coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride, beautifully dressed All right. for her husband. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. Y'all, we are getting ready to live with God yeah. in his perfect place. Yeah. 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 All right. All right. Yeah. Yeah. I've read many books. I've read many books, but the Bible is the only perfect book I ever read. Yeah. of the Bible deal with God creating the heavens and the earth. The last two chapters of the Bible deals with God recreating a brand new heaven and a brand new earth. Y'all, this is where we're going to spend eternity with him. We all have been to some beautiful places. Come on. Come on. And while in those beautiful places, we all said, it don't get much better than this. <laughs> <laughs> but then Jesus whispers in our ear and reminds us, you ain't seen nothing yet. Damn it. 
Oh! 